Okay, so I've shown you how to put this wing together. Um, packing it back up at the end of your flying day really is absolutely the reversal of the putting it together. So I'm not going to show you that in detail, um, but let's see how quick I can do it. Right, welcome back. A um, little bit misleading that because uh, actually this video is exactly that. It's a detailed uh, description on exactly how you put a fly light trike away uh, once you've finished flying for the day. So before you can drop the wing, first thing you need to do is remove one of these bolts at the bottom of the pylon so that the pylon can fold down. And a little tip, it's always useful if you get washers and nuts and things, put them back on the bolts, keep them all together before you put them away so that uh, you don't lose anything for the next time you need them. If you do try and drop the wing and it doesn't move, then chances are you've probably forgotten to do this. You've probably forgotten to remove that bolt um, and uh, guess how I know that, yes, I've done it loads of times. Before you can drop the wing, there is a little locking pin that goes through the front strut, um, which you have to remove before you can drop the wing. That's what this thing is here, held on by one of these lock washers, which are dead easy to lose in long grass. Uh, again, don't ask me how I know that. So lock pin out, lock ring back in the pin, and you can just leave that dangling, and then you can drop the wing. Right, be careful when you stand up so you don't bang your head. Oop, like that. Uh, and then take the nose cone off. And I'll show you in a moment where I store the nose cone. I've got a really useful place to keep it. So having dropped the wing, the next thing to do is to reduce the tension or release the tension on the wing like this and then once you've released the tension on the wing it's a whole lot easier to take the battens out you can take the battens out with the tension on the wing but it's just more difficult and um, talking of battens when you've finished taking those out they all go in this handy blue bag which Aeros provide so this is how you take the tip sticks out quite easy to remove and then once you've taken the tip stick out you can then remove the battens and uh, release the outer and inner sprogs, which fold up against the leading edge and are held in place with Velcro. Uh, as well as the battens, there's also this transverse button. Uh, make sure you take that out as well. When you put these buttons away, you need to make sure that they are handed so there's a red side and a green side or a port side and a starboard side. So don't get them mixed up, make sure you keep them together. Interestingly, on my last video, I asked if anybody knew where port and starboard came from. And thank you to Ian, who explained the origins of the term, which is nautical. And it turns out that uh, boats used to have a steerboard or uh, the actual steering wheel on the right hand side of the boat, hence the term starboard for right. Um, and when they used to moor up, they used to moor up with the left hand side of the boat against the port. And that's why the left hand side is called the port side. So there you go, every day's a school day. Thanks, Ian. The longest of the battens, or battens number one, on both sides remain in place. You just need to unclip them and pull them out a little bit. The reason for that is that they can be quite difficult to get in and out, um, but they don't need to come out in order to fold the wing up, so you just leave them where they are. Right, you can see I'm struggling struggling a little bit with this transverse button. I couldn't quite get hold of the end of it to pull it out. Um, but by pulling the uh, this button out here, I could then get my finger in the transverse button pocket, poke it out, which gave me enough to get hold of so I could pull it out. Uh, and another little tip, you can see I can't quite get this washout rod out of place. Um, but if you take the tip stick out, which I've done here, then there's nothing um, resting onto this uh, washout rod so that you can then pull it out of place.
I do have to say that Aeros really have thought of everything um, and these little blue bags are really really useful for keeping everything together uh, and everything in place. I'll show you in a moment just where I store the, uh, the battens when the wing is folded up. Uh, this that I'm doing there is just releasing the nose wing button. There is a nose button but that remains in place but you need to just take the tension off before you fold the wing which is what I'm about to do. So if you get all of the trailing edge material and pull inwards, the wing will fold inwards. Now I have to say that the leading edges will pick up speed and you need to make sure you don't keep your head in the middle and that you stop those leading edges. Otherwise, remember this fella, you'll end up with that. Uh, incidentally, that advert is 31 years old, would you believe? So having folded the wing in, what you need to do is take the sail material and make sure that it's hanging down on the outside of, uh, of the aircraft. That way you can fold it up. And then before you do actually fold up the sail material, make sure you've got hold of um, the uh, straps that you need to keep them in place. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll fold up all the wing material or the sail material, and then you'll have to let go of it to go and get your straps and it'll just unfold. So make sure you've got those bits that you need ready. And then it's just a process of folding up the sail material, trying to keep it parallel to the leading edges. And then once you've folded it up, if you put the tip bags on, you keep the ends of the wing safe. The next thing, where the struts meet the leading edges, there is a bracket which sticks out, which um, when the wing is folded, would rub against the opposite side of the wing. So these blue pads here just protect the sail material from uh, any damage or being rubbed by those, uh, those brackets. And then it's just a case of repeating the process on the other side. Right, so earlier on I said I was going to show you where I store the battens when the aircraft is stowed away and what I do is I stick them on the front of the wing right here. Now, I see some people put them in the seat and I just think that uh, they're open to danger there and where I keep them they're out of the way and nothing is going to happen to them. Right, so these two blue protective bags that I've got here normally go on the end of the control frame uprights when you completely dismantle the wing. But I find that they're quite useful for just putting over the ends of these sprogs uh, when the aircraft is folded back just to keep them safe and to prevent them from uh, poking into any wing material. Uh, 
Uh, and then once you've folded the wing back, it's held together in place by a number of Velcro straps. Where would we be without Velcro? Interestingly, in case you wanted to know, which you probably don't, but I'm going to tell you anyway, uh, Velcro was invented by a Swiss bloke in 1954, I think it was, and it comes from the French word for velvet, which is velour, and the French word for hook, which is crochet. So that's where Velcro comes from. See what you learn from watching my channel. Don't mention it. You're very welcome. And then uh, this strap here at the front, that's where I keep the nose cone. Just keeps it safe, you don't lose it, and it's exactly where you need it to be. And then the last thing to do is to put the wing bag on, which uh, just protects the sail from dust, bird poo, and anything else that might be lurking around in the hangar. I've got to say, this Aeros Fox 13 TL wing really is super simple to rig and de-rig. In fact, it's even easier and quicker to rig than the PB and the Adam wings because it's got solid strut. That should be the same with my Flylight Aeros 9 wing, um, which I'm hoping to receive any day now. When I do get that, I'll do a separate video to show how that rigs and de-rigs. If you want to see how easy this wing is to rig, then I've done a separate video. I'll put a card to that video up above. Whew. Oh, there you go. I don't know how long that took, but again, it doesn't take very long, does it? That's ready now to uh, put back in the hangar ready for the next time we go flying. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, then make sure you do that and I will see you on the next one. See you later.